Tonight, we remember one of the most generous Bostonians to share his gifts with the city. David Mugar came up with the idea for the quintessential 4th of July celebration, the Boston Pops Fireworks Spectacular, and he funded a large part of it himself for years. David Mugar died last night at the age of 82. Mm. But his legacy will live on in a city that he loved. WBZ's Anaritis Rodriguez is here in studio with a look at the incredible impact he made on our community. Anaritis? Paula and Lisa, David Mugar was a philanthropist who had a vision to create something special in Boston on 4th of July. In 1974, Mugar launched the Boston Pops Fireworks Spectacular on the Esplanade with the legendary conductor Arthur Fiedler. The show eventually became a national televised broadcast right here on WBZ and CBS. Mugar's family says he passed away peacefully last night. In a statement, the family says, quote, he was a Bostonian through and through, continually finding ways to give back to the community he loved. He was humble and generous, quietly doing good for others and always leading with his heart. The many gifts he gave to civic and cultural organizations across the city and the state were most often given in recognition in honor of his parents, our grandparents. Boston Pops conductor Keith Lockhart says Mugar is irreplaceable. David is one of those, he had such passion for the event, uh, such ownership of the event that I, I really, sometimes you would chafe a little under that because he was kind of, I was, it was like, David, this isn't your show, this is America's show, this is the Boston Pop show. But no, for him, it was his show and it needed to be done to the highest possible expectation. We always had to be looking at what we could do to bring even more people in and, and thrill more people. And uh, I couldn't have wanted a, a better collaborator or one who, pushed on all of us to always give our best. And you're right, the interesting thing is the millions of people who have enjoyed that event, uh, both live and in person and televised around the country and the world. Um, I can't imagine how few of them have any idea who he was. But that's, uh... Mugar is survived by his longtime companion, three children and five grandchildren. And Lisa, I know you worked with him for many years. Mm. Yes, 16 years on that incredible show, and Anaritis and Paula, what was so true was that he had his hand in all of it. And I asked him the year he was retiring in 2016, I said, of all of the things that you've done, uh, many things we don't even know about, you know, very generous with people, I said, is this what you are proudest of? And he said, it is. Oh, absolutely. If you were a child in 1974, as I was, it was such a big deal that families started coming back into Boston, and people here knew he was the one who thought up the 1812 overture. Let's add the cannons and the church bells. So by the bicentennial in 76, it exploded into this national celebration, and it set the standard that Boston was where you wanted to be on the 4th of July, and that is all thanks to David Mugar. That was his vision, and he will be missed. Anna